Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a kind of sit down, chit chat, kind of get ready with me, half get ready with me because I'm doing my eyes in another video. But I thought I'd do a little bit more of a chilled video again because you guys seem to like that last time. So I've created my eyeshadow in another video but everything else like my foundation and everything I've kind of done as I'm chatting along about what's going on in my life at the moment. So yeah, if you're up for a more chilled video then my usual makeup tutorials just keep watching. Okay, so as you can already see, I've already done my eye makeup. I've done this in another video. I think this might be made into one video, but... Yeah. <gasps> Christ. Yeah, this might be one or two videos. If this is two videos, it will obviously be linked down below. But I thought that I would just do a chit chat get ready with me because you guys seem to like that. First of all, I just want to say that I got my implant removed and replaced yesterday. Look at the state of me. What? It's literally, I don't even know, it just felt so weird at the time. I had this like, trainee doctor. Well, not a trainee doctor, but like, a, a doctor that was learning how to do implants. Um, in with me so they were obviously talking through what they were doing and talking about cutting my fibrous tissues and saying yes it bleeds a lot and stuff like that and I was just like oh what are you doing to me yeah I think other than that it would have been okay but because they were like talking about it I feel like I could feel it more so like when she was saying about cutting my fibrous tissues, before that I couldn't really feel anything because obviously they numb it. And then when she said that, I could always feel it, if you know what I mean. I think obviously it was just my imagination, but because she said that, I was like, oh my God, that's actually making me feel sick. But obviously I didn't want to be like, can you shut up? So I just like let her do her thing and tried to I tried to like zone out of it, which didn't really work to be honest, but I had to take off the bandage earlier, which was probably not the best idea because I think the kind of pressure was stopping it from hurting. So yeah, I took the bandage off this morning and I was like, oh my God, now it's hurting. So I tried to put it back on myself, which obviously didn't go that well. I just want to say, that this Primark foundation literally is blowing my mind more and more every day. I can't get enough of it. Every time I use it, I, I love it even more. I don't know how I'll get along with it when I'm on Roaccutane, but for now, when my skin's really oily, it is just such a lifesaver. I can't believe that it's only five pounds. My spots are playing up so bad right now. I can't wait to get Roaccutane. I don't think I've actually mentioned that to you guys. I think the get ready with me that I posted yesterday was actually, it was actually a month ago. I just only just got around to editing it. Um, so I actually filmed it a month ago and that was like before my dermatologist appointment and everything. And so I had my, de my first like dermatologist appointment and he was literally like, I see you're struggling with acne, blah, blah, blah. What would you want to be the outcome of this meeting? And I was like, I want real accutane. And he was like, I suppose you've done quite a lot of research. And I was like, yeah, I've watched quite a lot of videos. Like I've Googled it a lot. I've like tried to read as much as possible about like what it's like when you're on it, what it's like coming off of it, what the side effects are like. And so he obviously gave me the massive like talk about you can't get pregnant and we've got to do blood tests on you monthly and all of this stuff which I did already know because I'd read so much about it. So yeah, he was like, I'm happy to give it to you. And then I had to book an appointment for like four weeks time. I had to have my bloods taken that day. So now I've got my like first appointment when hopefully I actually get my first month. Um, that is on the 3rd of May. So that's coming around quite quickly. I can't wait to be honest. I'm so well prepared. I've bought like Aquaphor, I've bought the Cetaphil cleanser and moisturiser. I've stocked up on some Carmex. I've literally got everything ready. I've bought some like cleansing oils 
just so that basically I'm ready because uh, it's going to be so different to what I'm used to now. Up until today I was feeling quite overwhelmed again with the chemistry that I'm studying. Um, I've been like, I don't know, I feel like I've been really like slacking on actually sitting down and studying, like even today. I have should have had like a full on study day and I've decided that because I'm going out in the evening I will film so I've wasted a couple of hours here oh, I don't know I just feel like I'm wasting a lot of time and today it's really sunk in that my exams start in eight weeks I've got two months and I don't feel confident that I can get the B that I need I don't know I just I think like I always doubt myself but in this situation I'm definitely putting myself under so much pressure that I've never I have put myself under pressure before but never to this extent to teach myself a full A level in six months rather than being in college or whatever and doing it in two years. Um, so I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit defeated at the moment which is the last thing I need to be right now. I think I really need to be like focusing and like being confident that I can do this. But I did have a little bit of a boost earlier. So I did paper one from June 2016 and I got three marks off an A today, so I got a B, which has kind of made me feel a little bit better about it, but at the same time, it's just the AS papers. Like, I haven't even started on the A2 papers yet, which is scary, because obviously they will be the ones that I sit in June. I'm not going to be sitting AS papers, I'm just going to straight in with the A level. So I've got a lot of hard work coming up. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of wasting time and I think to be honest like I probably won't be filming a lot for these next couple of months just because I just feel like I should I should really be like cracking on and getting this chemistry done I'm sure you guys can understand that that's probably in my best interest at the moment to not be wasting four hours filming and editing a video for you guys I'm just gonna pop back into the other video, finish off my eyes, and I will be back. So yeah, I've just thrown on some Lena D lashes in the style motivation. I have got a code which is George10, and that gets you 10% off anything on their website. That's all I'm gonna do for today's video. I know it wasn't a full get ready with me, but it was a kind of chit chat kind of thing like you guys seemed to like last time. So this is the finished look. I will have a video up on this look as well. Nice pink half cut crease. Yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys like this, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next one.